mean, I didn't grow up with, why is it that much? <laughs> Did he actually buy it? Generic intro into that goose movie. Here back with another Kadikaris video, and today we're doing the horrifying world of PS1 games for babies, which I'm not sure why they were giving babies a PlayStation 1, but the PlayStation 1 was well before my time. This is going to be my third Kadikaris video I think I have seen. The last one I did was the weird world of the PlayStation magazines. I don't know, PlayStation even had a magazine. It was kind of crazy. You can check my reaction to that. I'll leave it right up there. Also, link down below in the description, and I guess maybe eventually I'll make a Kadikaris playlist for my channel. I'm not really sure, but you all seem to really be enjoying these videos. Please let me know what the next one's going to be. I did, did that video is just so long. Good God. But we're doing this one. It's 32 minutes long. It's four years old. I don't know why they're giving PlayStation 1s to babies. Or maybe it's not technically babies. Maybe it's just like toddlers or young kids or something like that. Maybe it's just games that are rated E for everyone. I'm not really sure. But shout out to the patrons because they get all the videos a day early. And I could not do this if it was not for them. Uh, $3 a month gets you all my reaction videos a day early. And also, I read every single one in comments whether you're a patron or not, whether you are subscribed or not. But I hope you're subscribed as we are so close to 100,000 subscribers. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. And hopefully, I can make it just tiny, a little bit better. But let's go ahead and jump into the horrifying world of PlayStation 1 games for babies. All right, this should be something. I'm not sure why they're giving babies PlayStation 1s. Um, but also, wait, goo goo, ga -ga. Playsta <laughs> PlayStation 1's <sighs> older than me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I can only play games made for babies now. And I'm not talking about playing games oh. made for children. Oh, God. Have you seen my fingers? I can't even pet my dog Aww, with these doggo. cocktail sausages. Oh, oh. Oh no. <laughs> I'm talking about playing games made for babies. Not Muppet Race Mania, not mm, Stuart Little 2, really? not Powerpuff Girls, not even Rugrats Totally Fanny. Games made oh, for well. actual toddlers, the lowest common denominator of humans. I, mean, I just saw my sense. nephews Picture today. This. You're a dad, you get yourself a best selling video game console like the PS1. And you, you play make... it non stop. Your wife asks you why you haven't said hello to her for three weeks, or why the baby is cooking your chicken casserole for dinner, and she oh. begins to blame the body gang. How dare she? Being a neglectful dad. But then you turn around and tell her that no, it isn't because you're get addicted this to Disney Tarzan. That can't be mm. because this isn't your PlayStation. It's the family's PlayStation. Uh -huh. See, there's also games for our children too. PlayStation scapegoating for shitty parents since 1994. 94. Always sin games for really young kids who don't know any better as the ultimate shameless excuse for adults who don't want to own the fact that they wanted an electronic toy to play with for themselves. You know, I mean, they're kind of like a check maybe the chess of bad marriages. These games are more or less always some of the lowest quality. <laughs> attempts at making a video game in the first place because why bother with the effort when it's a stupid little cretin called Benjamin that's gonna play it and won't care about any of the glaring issues oh, the game has. And they're gonna they be like the, the lowest quality Peppa games. Pig's face on it. They'll make their parents buy it. It doesn't matter. Why'd they make good. Peppa Pig the cash. game? What's that? You don't want some healthy strawberry and peach biscuits for a snack? Well, how about we what? Peppa's face on them and I told you they were Peppa skin flakes. That's tasty, right? Now, Isn't Peppa like seven feet tall or something? See, that's why I think these games are the smoking gun that parents addicted to video games are able to use as a getaway reason for why they bought a console in the first place they have little is... to no merit aside from just existing pajama sam let's go that's not this but it reminds Adults me of it will never buy them for themselves uh-huh caddy you got some explaining well... to do <laughs> and they are almost the objectively terrible cash grabs with a kids show skin stapled to it so yeah. what else could they possibly be other than a justification for a terrible mum or dad they spent all the budget on the licenses while playing video games by giving them a video game no matter how terrible Why it is, is proves that is this console wasn't on? a selfish purchase it was made for your family right well that or the kids recognize a famous character on the box and then start screaming and I want it. you in the shins until you buy the game for them but the joke's on them, because if you buy it for them, they get to play Tweenies Game Time when they get home. Now, indeed, oh, I Thomas have talked plenty about PS1 baby games on my channel Why before. is he... In fact, I used well, okay. to do it years ago, before my channel underwent... Just some changes. I took a look at yeah, the he one Smurf designed for four year olds to be a kid's first mm. ever kart racing game. And it's I mean, I grew up playing racing Smurfs, games, though, so yeah. need for speed, I took though. a look at the Tweenies Game Time, one of the ugliest and most insultingly simple games I've ever played that reminded me of a razor head. And it also didn't have the uh -huh. budget to give the characters clothes. I've got a wizard's hat. Well, where is it? I took a look at Thomas the Tank Engine, a but in Japanese, factory that was I think. surprisingly content packed and lovingly made when it had no reason to be. All of those creepy faces yep. aside. Hey, Henry slept with my wife. <laughs> Only problem is, it was Japanese exclusive, so the fan base the series was made and never got to see it. Man, I, I wish I could go to Japan. I want to go to Japan. I would have my absolutely had that. I even took a look I, as a Santa kid. Santa Claus saves the Earth, and that was <laughs> Santa. Why? 
<laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. I just... I, I, I haven't been this emotional since I saw Saving Ryan's Private. But today, oh, I yeah, I mean, that's pretty beyond. important. I found 11 PS1 games made for babies, and I'm going to play all of them for you, whether you like it or not. Hey, 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 hey. I'm hey, not hey, happy hey. about it either, but I mean, hey. what else am I supposed to do with hands like this? Oh, look at ah. that! Well, I've already come this far, so I might as well keep going. The first game I'll take a look at okay. is Disney Learning with Winnie I mean, the Pooh. I didn't grow up. Why is it How that much? Who in their right mind would pay for this? So let's play party time with Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Did he so actually now buy you it? And all of your friends can have a party with Pooh. And all you need is a toilet and a ladle. You want to know the story oh, of no. good old Winnie Bear's party time? No, I don't. It begins with an alien getting his nose out and then having private time with the floor, Still which then leads us to a title screen. Winnie the Pooh. The five ten by twenty eight. Winnie the Pooh. Chubby little Kirby with black dead eyes. Okay, time to enter my Yeah, game. I didn't Hello, grow my up name is Mummy. with and you know Winnie what? the Pooh. I'm feeling Pooh. a bit hardcore, so I'm going to dabble with a bit of hard difficulty Whoa, today. whoa, whoa, slow down. And I think I'm going to pick Tigger because he looks a little drunk and needs some help getting home. Weirdly enough, though, there's no choice to pick Eeyore. I think he might have finally done it. The real no, story Eeyore. Begins, and it turns out there's a treasure map that appears out of thin air, and we all want to follow it to find Rabbit's secret stash after it gets thrown into the air. <laughs> into the air? Gopher pops up his from underground like the filthy vermin he is and gets oh, the map well. stuck on his back, angers a load of bees, and runs away. So we That's have to chase him to get our map back. The game begins, Gopher oh, runs it's Mario Party. three seconds, and then we're stuck in a loading screen. We play about a minute of a mini game, and then we're stuck in a loading screen. Gopher runs for about three seconds, we slump along like we were caught evading our taxes, and then we're stuck wow. in a loading screen. <laughs> we play another mini game for about a minute, watch Tigger get possessed by Beelzebub, and then we're stuck in a loading screen. This game's loading screens are perfect for children, because obviously... They're so well known for their high attention spans. I know it uh -huh. looks a lot like Mario Party, but it, it well, really look at that. Oh Lord, watch out! I played Mario Party one time for a charity stream. It's linear with nothing that interesting like happening month. on the board sections aside from just moving forward. There's no luck element so to make slow. things more interesting. It's so sad. How far you move along the board is based entirely on your performance in the mini games each character lands on. And as far as my performance in the mini games go, it's quite frankly terrible. Since every oh. time I push bombs back in this mini game, they decide to teleport back to me and make me what? faint. What? The other mini games are just as insipid, oh, it's, it's though. it's so when well done. Driving around in a circle 15 times, you're stuck in a tiny arena collecting fruit and throwing it into a basket. This one happens okay. quite a lot, actually, and I'm really good at it too because I can drop an unlimited supply of bananas behind my feet every half a second. Well, that was a good start. <laughs> I wonder what else I can Game breaking stuff. Ah, there we go. How much? Blues clues. Blues big musical. <gasps> Zero bids. What? Come on, guys! Why are like these the games John what? worth so much money? Why? I can't afford these prices. I'm not a policeman. So while I'm fishing around for a better price, what? why don't I check out Molten Menace by Fisher Price? Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, nice. Yes. In the 90s and early 2000s, a video game didn't even need to be about a movie or a TV show it to sell just out be to the kids. About Sometimes you could even base drugs. them on baby toys and get away with it. Alrighty then. So what's going on here then? Let's go. Yeah, come oh. on, team. Oh, Let's it's go. oh yeah, it's a game best based off a <laughs> what toy. What is this? Why is everyone? One running like an inflated oh, chimp. Is this how I'm supposed fight. to run? Have I been doing it wrong? Yes. Why does this man look like he wants to kiss me? Why he is does. this man eating his own face? It's because he is. But I haven't even done any training. Asylum Entertainment, well. you say? Good to know that's where I'll end up after playing this. Oh god, another name entry. Oh, what if I don't know how to spell my name? Rumpy Pumpy. You that's know, fine. For a video game with a story, oh, a volcano about an next to a volcano city, murdering everyone in a city. I'm pretty confused. City why the skylines. They went with for planes crashing into buildings. How did they even make that sound effect? And who decided that was the bonk. best? You know what? This reminds me. I need to finish the sound engineering on my car safety short film. So Oof. all you do in this game is move around a city to rescue people and animals. You do okay. this by grabbing them with a claw machine that, that was a or raccoon. by just being near them. That's it. That's the whole game. What? You were expecting I mean, more power-ups? Enemies? Jumping? Go no. to the area, the game you put people on get Benjamin grabbed. Yeah. Well, shut up! It doesn't matter if for you're in the air or on the ground. You are doing the same thing with more or less the same controls, and there's nothing else you can say about it. It's bland, it's repetitive, and when this lady for jumps kid, into her to check all of her controls are working, she sounds like this. Check. The back of the box states that it builds problem-solving and thinking skills, Does it? but I've got to vehemently disagree with that. Oh, that's a nice word. <laughs> There's no problem solving going on here. You just move and collect stuff. Nothing yeah, more. I mean, I suppose the game is kind of educational. For a young though. kid. I mean, I now know that paragliders can suspend you in the exact same place in midair they forever. Can't. I now know that volcanic well, can, rocks but... erupting into my face will make me dizzy. And I now know that giraffes can climb on rooftops. Oh, nice. Look at that. The sun's out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What is that? What is that going to be? Play with the telescope. Oh, wait. 
Oh, when I was really young, I, I watched the Teletubbies. Would one-year-olds find this too much? Okay, like, when I was a baby. Second, the yellow I one's my favorite. Called play with the Teletubbies, not watch the Teletubbies stare at you. It was, it was Teletubbies and Barney. And then I discovered things like Discovery Channel, okay, Military go Channel, History here Channel. And say that this game isn't pushing the PS1 to its limits. Yeah, I know. A shocking assumption, I'm aware. But with that being said, why didn't they just use the Teletubby Show intro as FMV in the game itself? If they're not going to do that, they could at least animate could they not the do models. That? How is this going to get the Kitty Winks excited? Nothing is happening, and I feel Ming. like Dipsy's judging me. Where have the Teletubbies gone? I don't know. Where? Well, there. They're right, yeah, one they're of the most right there. Right there. Introductions to a kid's game I've ever What's seen. We now have a character selection screen that's even worse. This is all you, you pick have. Which one you want to be? No music, no sound effects, just the abyss of deafening silence. While the Teletubbies look over their shoulders for the police after they committed arson. I suppose it doesn't matter. Have they? For now, I'll go with Tinky Winky for no other reason than because while he walks around, what? he sings about wetting himself. Pinky Winky, Tinky Winky, Pinky Winky, Tinky Winky. Oh, look at that! Fine. I found Tinky Winky's. Red handbag. Let's pick it up. Pinky Winky. Again, again. Again, again. Is that what the Teletubbies what? like actually he found did? Picking up the handbag so enthralling that he wants to do it again. Aren't you gonna look in there no. at least? There might be something even more fun inside. Again, like what? Again. Did I just beat level one? Okay, then I I'll think... go over to the windmill instead. And, and you're gonna find it, what? It me into another cutscene. And Ooh, I'm gonna ask the high quality cutscene. Why, when there's so little on this disc to begin with, don't they just use clips from the show whenever there's a cutscene that copies exactly a part of the show? It would look so much better than this. I don't want to see the Teletubbies twitching on the floor. Probably and beaten up and mugged. Oh, okay. licensing so they or can use FMV. They just chose not to for whenever the Teletubbies Maybe, are on okay, screen. Well... You know the things that the game is about. Hello. 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 Those Hello. kids are older Hello. than me. Hello. 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 What? Hello. Don't do that. And I'm David Bowie. This is our dog Aww. Alice. Alice? You know, if I buy a game called Play with the Teletubbies, I expect a game where I, you know, play with the Teletubbies. If I were a toddler that was a fan of the Teletubbies, why would I bother playing this game where all I can do is watch badly redone scenes of the show with fat and ugly models when I can just but watch the show get itself to play on along. VHS? Equally, if I wanted to watch random people I don't care about engage in illegal dogfights in the woods, I'd just watch that instead. When did this that's... game come out? 1999. Well, if that's 90... the case, oh, I was the born! about this painful FMV sequence oh, is that all of these dogs but... are definitely dead yes. now. Okay, then let's keep on looking around. What's going on with this train then? Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for the delays on your journey today, but a mental infant has decided to grab each end of the train and pull it apart. Huh? Thank you. Oh yeah, the yep, the sun baby. Fascinating. Oh, Tinky Winky, I like your blowhole. You know what? I'm officially hooked. Let's keep looking around. What's hiding in the game towards the screen then? Ah, oh, the pleasure dome. Is it we this like and as soon when as they finished filming? The then they like flood evil. that Completely area. It was in a valley. In fixed and is it like under a lake like now? Horrific atmospheric sound effects in the background. <laughs> I don't know what to do though, so let's um, click on this thing. Uh -oh. What do you mean, uh oh? It's time for Tubby Toast. Oh, hello toast. there. Man, why do we have an eraser all of a sudden? The Tubby Toast Maker takes us to a mini game where we can, mm. what else, make Tubby Toast. Oh, then sit really? down and eat it. And all the Where's while, the, the vacuum cleaner with eyes stares at you while you eat. Don't you hate it when they do that? Oh, that's a, a I'm pretty sure it's a Dyson. I think it might be a V. Would that be a V? I don't know. It's a big one. Inside the dome, you can also make a bowl of tubby custard, except you can't because Why not? simple to, it doesn't work. to turn on the machine without putting a bowl underneath it first, so it ends up going all over the floor. You can and eat it off the of floor. It up himself, the crazy bastard decides to sneak away from the crime scene, leaving footprints of blood. I wonder who wake. it could be. Oh, well, at least Nunu loves a bit of blood. Again, again. How about now? Oh. You know what? Before I get into to the next game, I think I need to change the scenery around here a little bit. In order to play like a baby, I must feel like a baby. The little vacuum thing? So how about I do the rest of this video in an inflatable chair? I got it at the inflatable shop at a discount. Is that branded? Obviously have no more inflatable dolls left. He's gonna be there a while. Get it in my- The, the vacuum thing? My vacuum cleaner, I took off the, the nozzle and put- it's taking way too long. The little extending thing, and my brother was like, oh, it looks like that thing. I was like, showed me a picture of it. It was of that. There... I suppose the good thing about this is that if I get a little bit too excited, 
you'll be able to hear me moving and tell me to calm down. Yep. Dude, that's gonna take forever. Did he actually... He has to be so lightheaded. Who needs inflatable dolls for action when you've got a chair? It's gonna take forever. Was it worth it? Connected. See, it looks like I just oh, Brandon. My subscription to express nice. The sponsors are That's a video. good segue. What does VPN stand for? Violating potatoes. Mm. I don't think that's what it means. Incredible data encryption but... service I have used for over a year now, which keeps your oh. info completely Get secure whenever you're online and protects you all from the dodgy men you see in cafes. Don't be fooled. He doesn't like the way you look. He wants a date with your bank account details. No, that, please don't. Fantastic at shielding your IP address Unless you're going to your add stuff to it. In another country. And I'm sure you have a completely legal reason to do that. I won't tell anybody. <laughs> don't hurt me. This allows you to access services that are region locked, like specific Netflix shows. Ah, uh, well, if only I had Netflix. On flights or download games games released earlier in other countries. Get it on Windows, get it on Apple, who gets get, to play it on video games? get it on your face. Whatever you do, head to the description below and go to the link expressvpn.com forward slash caddy and find out how to get three months of this service for absolutely free. Who knows? When you use it, you might even be able to find a cheaper price on Blue's Clues for the PS1. I mean, seriously, the clue that they need to find is someone dumb enough to pay that much for a baby game. And he's gonna buy it. Okay, well... Next up, we have Barbie Explorer. Barbie? Action as never before. Oh, wow. Does that mean that Barbie might bend her elbows? And would whoa. you look at that? She's actually doing more oh, than whoa, look at that cut scene. this epic minecart video sequence. This is some dangerous stuff here. Barbie is looking like she's loving Why it. She... she looks pretty excited I mean, I would be death. too. So in this game, Barbie has taken it upon this herself like to find the missing pieces of a mystic mirror. Why? No clue. I thought she'd be too worried about breaking a nail. But if anything, I'm a little bit confused as to why we're in the middle of a story all about a mystical power that will reawaken and most definitely end humanity if we find all the pieces of an ancient artifact. This is a Barbie game, right? All I want to do is roller skate up to my convertible with my BFFs and then gang up on Ken so we can take his pants off and try and find Oh, his no, 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 no. Sunshine, what do we have here? VR training. What do you mean, what, like, VR? Solid. Watch out, world. Solid Barbara's coming through. Now, in virtual reality, you can do all sorts of things with Barbie, like teleport. I do plan on playing the Metal Gear games like at some an point. Old lady with rickets. Not jump what onto is climbable rickets? walls because, God forbid, we put any actual fun into our platformer. And then we get absolutely decked in the face by opening doors. What's my name this time? KFC. Because Why? by the looks of it, Barbie could do with one. She looks like if she pushes too hard, she'll snap her legs like a stick. So when we get into the actual game, oh, I've seen so many people snap their legs good. like that. <gasps> to begin with, this basically feels like the original two. Actually, I heard a guy snap his leg controls, during a soccer game. But everything else you do from Ugh. climbing to jumping has an abysmal delay to it, which would be fine if the game itself was built around it and wasn't a fast-paced linear corridor oh, platform like Crash Bandicoot. Never played Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot, Bandicoot even though I know Caddy like loves it. you don't only have two. Oh. A delay, wow. but also a jump arc that you are so committed to once you do it, you basically already had kids with it by the time you land. I mean, oh, it makes wow. sense. Everything here has a purpose, but it's easily the stiffest platformer I've ever played. Bugsy 3D isn't this stiff. And at Bugsy? least Bugsy has more directions he can move towards so that his body doesn't constantly clip on angled parts of the wall and make Barbie bring out her funeral fashion pack. I mean, what oh, else do you want well. me to say? Barbie looks like she has a moustache. There's no sound effects at all while she's pulling what? rocks that weigh as much as a truck. She outright uh. absorbs herself into the walls and Don't please we all? tell me where are you going barbie egypt africa egypt is in africa that's exactly that's, like that's saying true. united kingdom England. But England again, is my city. By your face, I don't think geography is your strong point. This is a game starring Barbie, all about Barbie, in an action adventure game with awful controls. I mean, I really can't go into any more. That a go? Why is he? So He's getting excited. I'm so sorry, these games are really getting me going. So why Stop. don't I check out Rayman Jr. next? Yes, I'm aware this game is for a slightly older crowd than what I'm aiming for, but let's be real, when the hell else am I ever going to talk about this thing? I've Ooh, seen what a Rayman this in... This game was part of the value what? series? What was he in? You know, it must be good. A and YouTube so far, video. I've never played Rayman. Check out this FMV intro. The quality is stunning. It's so much better than the original game. It definitely doesn't look like a Chinese bootleg. What are you, nuts? <laughs> when I was five was years great old bootleg. playing the original Rayman all those years ago, you know what I thought was missing? Math. Oh, was Rayman and Sonic for Hire? Escapist magical action platformer on the PS1. School revision. This is homework, the video game. What's my name? Oh, she, you know, I don't even care anymore. Fathead. And get oh, this. Well, they okay. actually tried desperately to make a story out of this. It turns out hey, the bad if they guy tried, the it's Rayman, effort. Mr. Dark, who's so terribly named Mr. Mike, Dark. called Uncle Bad, has stolen a book of English and maths. And Rayman <laughs> has to go and get this book back by solving random English and math 
problems. So if Rayman and the gang already know everything about English and maths, why do we care about a single book going missing? Can't we just go and get another one at wuss? So each stage where? of Rayman Jr. gives you a category of puzzle to solve based on either literacy okay. or numeracy. I'm Whether surprised Doug Doug hasn't made an AI try and path, pass this. Correct rhyme that's said to you, working out simple equations, or picking the correct plosive sounds of words that match another word, just for a few examples. You still awake? Great, because while doing all <laughs> because of this, why? this is still Rayman after all, so you get to partake in classic Rayman 1 trial and error, no mistakes allowed platforming. And even though the puzzles no themselves are what? really easy, if you accidentally land on oh. an incorrect answer or flick the wrong switch while fighting enemies, which is very easy to do, You're gonna... you don't get a second chance. You lose a life. Just like in real school. And this is even no. assuming you avoid falling off platforms with knockback, which has nothing to do with the incorrect answer. And it's so just, just trial and error dodging? game screwing you up. You have five okay. lives per stage, which sounds like a lot, but each stage goes on for 30 minutes each. Half an hour of simply walking to the correct number That's that is brutal. spoken to you over and over again while dealing with frustrating platforming. I'm sorry, he just if broke you're that. On your last what? life and make it to the very last part of a stage only to get hit by the flat end of a pencil because as we Why? all know, that's the sharpest bit or get attacked <laughs> by Nothing the air, the thin you air. You have wasted 30 minutes of your life and have to do all of the mind-numbingly slow and boring question answering again. That's why each stage takes so long. It's the long-winded and ridiculous lengths the game forces you through to answer just one question, which are often extremely slow and boring platforming to begin with. Do you want me to have fun while I learn or not? Oh, and can you imagine uh, doing that nice. for Rayman? Do you think it would feel like lying on top of a space hopper? Rayman Maybe. Jr. is the ultimate joke game for strict parents. I mean, you can just imagine a kid back in the day enjoying this for rayman on the ps1 for christmas or something and then they get rayman and on it's the this PS1, but with learning in it oh sorry, but now if they kept we that we game it's worth a lot probably rayman because we thought you wanted it you weren't specific enough for a seven-year-old and it how are you supposed to know hang on when did my tiny hands come back <laughs> what's going on why are you doing that <laughs> barbie another barbie game stop Christ, another one? <laughs> Yay, thanks, comic Race and fans. ride. I can't wait to play Barbie Race and Ride. A question. Encourages learning about horses. Oh, you mean Horse. Barbie? <laughs> Barbie, software for girls. Uh -huh. huh? Sure. Who made this music and how can I legally assassinate them? Well, I know one Pretty thing easily. certain right off the bat. This game loads for everything. When you hit start, it loads. When you pick a horse, it loads. When you pick the horse's name, it loads. Okay. When you ride the horse, it loads. When you get off the horse, it oh, loads. Oh, what when is you that? When you something you want to do off the horse, it loads. When you confirm that you definitely did want to do that thing by clicking on it again, it loads. When you're done with the thing you want to do, it loads. When uh, you want to get back on your horse, it loads. You know what? You're right. These games are made for girls because as we all well, know, what? girls just love being stuck waiting around. Yeah, loading screens. Happen, is that not? Know, like when they had to wait for the vote. Here's my horse and God. I called him the worst name I could find in the list. Baby. Baby. Baby the horse. And here is the game. Yes, this is the game. Equestrian. I'm not joking. Well, I'm not sure if the second FMB question is. Equestrian when you jump seen, over. While all you do is make a bad quality gif of a horse head, move its head left and right, and jump every couple of minutes. But as far as moving left and right goes, you don't need to do that. It doesn't matter. This is a predetermined path. It's all automated. Wait, you don't have to no turn? Point moving left or right at all. Oh, oh, okay. Going on, every so often, Barbie will... I wonder what those stones are for. See what stones? Pebble, oh, those stones. Loves so much that you have to stop at which point you get is it kind of difficult to get game back on top get of a horse of a stupid animal which goes and then you get back on your horse i've never ridden a horse obviously stopped again this is the entire game just pointless and inconsequential horse riding and how much did they charge for it with pointless and inconsequential oh, it's a woodpecker. Mini games. may i ask where's the racing and i never thought i'd ask this but where's the horse education all i know so far that is that some insane people out there call their horses horse. baby what a funny noise it's a woodpecker oh God, come on baby let's go see and the best well, bit is that even after all the a fuss woodpecker. barbecue makes about that funny looking leaf she saw you click on the thing and she sees to go to a mini game and it's more often than not an action-packed thrill ride like this acorns rolling down a tree do you Slow have to down, count man, them I don't have my seatbelt on. wait 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 is that is that a race? Oh, oh my god. Wait, it's you're gonna race? race Christy on... Race in the title. What is it? Cinnamon. Better, we have Barbie on Baby. Barbie, I told you to stop sitting on the... Racing is oh, you so won. Nice. Fun. Uh... I mean, I get that this is for really young children. Really, but really Barbie young. Barbie Explorer was an actual game with graphics. This is also Not before like quality videos stitched together. You know, I think would be a better when game only guys play video games. Issues. Spoiler, she's a bigger. There has got to be something or that it was, enjoy doing. It wasn't all, but it was highly dominated. It's okay. 
okay, mate. Don't be frightened. I am. I, but yeah, I, I should be. Show you other things the kids love doing. Like, like what? Wanna play silly sausage? No. What? Silly sausage? Come on, play with me. No, thanks. Nope, I'm, I'm good. good. Can we play another game? No. Okay, here's one. Okay. <gasps> oh. what? what is that one supposed to be? Bear in the big blue bear. Bear in the big blue house? Well, to start with, I can make Not Bear sound really angry by pressing the repeat button over and over again on his introduction. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? And this game story... <laughs> I, I thought he was actually going to get angry. It's Ojo's birthday. Another Who? character in the show that is also titled Bear in the Big Blue Bee. And we need oh, to wait, that's the title of the, the show? complete many oh. easy mini games in order to reward Ojo with her presence. Because in Bear's Big Blue House, you work for your birthday. And I've got Fair. to be honest, this I is always work on my too birthday. bad considering it is a game for babies. It's definitely the the best game so far anyway the production value is nice it's not insulting or patronizing why is this kind of reminding me of controls well when it needs to Undertale. all the mini games feel totally different and this one actually required me to think it has decent oh, music thinking. a calm and welcoming atmosphere in fact the worst aspect of the game to me is the way bear looks himself i mean when he's giving you instructions he looks a bit <laughs> when he's dancing Little help. he looks like he's being shot he's just dodging he's, he's fine house and beat every Piccolo be proud available. we even get a final jigsaw puzzle mini game before the birthday celebration ending screen and sure, the whole thing took me only 25 minutes to complete. The game took 25 minutes? You gotta keep the clouds away from the moon? I'm sorry, what? what? To do because it did it really well. And now, I'm going to be very immature. You wanna come? Yeah, I did. And this <laughs> would not be the only time that the Jim Henson Company would dabble in the world of children's oh, Jim video Henson. gaming okay. on the PS1. Because they even did a few Sesame Street games to teach like kids that. about letters and numbers. No so Sesame Street for me. Right now. First up, Elmo's Letter Adventure. Because, of course, a game teaching children about how easy it is to spell is best left to a show that looks like it should be called C. Same. So what do we do in C Same Street <laughs> Elmo's Letter Adventure? Well, it begins with Elmo reliving some flashbacks from the war, and then Ernie puts a bird's nest on his head. After that, we walk around left what to else right and to talk do? to the other residents of the street, and they give us new Isn't missions to go out? all over Isn't the world and find the letters of the alphabet. And I've got to give it to Elmo. He doesn't mess around with what he wants. Would you like to travel with me and explore no. the alphabet in a whole new galaxy? No. No. Yeah. The rest oh. of the game is one thing that you do over and over again. You walk forward and no other direction, stop and click on 12 identical copies of the same letter you're told to look for, okay. and that is it. I mean, you can move left or right, but if you do that, you'll be making moves on the wall without consent. So just oh, don't, yeah, don't do that. The game just only wants go you to straight. hold forward and do the rest of the work for you. Yep. Because you're a kid and kids are stupid. And adjusting the difficulty makes no difference Oh, either. there's a difficulty? Even if you go to hard, the only thing that changes is that instead of finding 12 copies of the same letter... You you point. find 20 instead. Wh okay. 20 I mean, for learning. Same exact game, just longer. You're doing great. What are you talking about, Big Bird? I haven't found a single letter yet. Christ help me. Let's go. But you haven't got any instead. wrong ones Surely yet. Surely there's something fun for us to do no. here. We can do lots of fun things Why is there a stop sign? Oh, yeah. You mean like the... One thing we can do? And by the way, it's a tutorial. That's it, I'm That's done. Let's move on to Elmo's Ubisoft. journey. Since we've now moved over from an adventure to a journey, surely mm. that means the game will be different. No nope. joking, it's exactly no, the same numbers. game with numbers instead. Ha 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 ha. What a funny joke. Okay, fine. When I was a kid, I typed out numbers in like a Microsoft Word document. Different Muppets, but you're still stuck holding I got like into the thousands. X when you see the correct number. But at least when your son or daughter is done with the game, and I have it printed off everything about the number when we over the computer. And nothing else. <laughs> Furthermore, That's not good. Me this Batman, why do these games have such a problem with allowing kids to freely explore in these 3D environments with smooth Because they'll get lost. Are they scared that they won't learn anything if they're able to move around these corridors like Spyro? Because when I can't do that, I can barely tell where I'm supposed to stop and click on the letters, which means that you end up making mistakes. Oh. Yes, mistakes. In a game that's, this simple, that's rough. preschoolers will delight. Will preschoolers? I beg to differ. I'm a grown-up manly many men many man, and my left thumb is already shattered up after one level of this game from all the holding forward I've been doing. So God knows how a tiny human thumb would If only you like the Barbie game. I'm tired. I don't care. I spent a lot of money on this game. How much was you, it? So you're going to sit there and enjoy it. My thumb hurts. No, I, no, that's not enough. You will play, you will hold that button and you will play this game and you will love it. 
Yeah? Yeah. Don't make me get the belt out! Oh, oh god. There's another one. Sesame sports. Street, sports. Sports. Oh, I do it's sports. Got wearing nothing but a towel on the front cover, so that makes it the better game by default. And immediately, I don't think we're going to be learning anything here. Are these, the name of the what game are these is sports? Sesame Street Sports. Yet the spine on the case can't spell and says Sesame Street Sport. We begin the That's game fine. and wonder to ourselves why Elmo is in a leather collar. And once we get going, why? it's pretty simple stuff. Right. Here you have a series of mini games that have you doing a load of obstacle course is races a unicycle in different a vehicles. It's basically sport? the same thing for every character, but you can at least adjust your Roller speed, blade, okay. move freely, collect tokens to beat your own score, try to beat your best time by avoiding Sledding? more obstructions and going faster. You can even do stunts. Whoa. As you go around the tracks, Big Bird and, and Elmo's commentary even teaches the kids about objects you avoid and the directions that you move move on the track. It's nothing much, but it at least has more fun and educational value Bath than most up? of the other games we've played so far. But confusingly, it's one of the pricier games you can find online. No clue why that is. It was probably I... Ernie's nips, wasn't it? But eh, it has I something to do with Sesame Street, probably. Sesame Street, I'd at least prefer this reaction-based hand-eye coordination training over mindlessly holding forward and pressing X when I see the letter Y. Well, it's oh, for different oh, ages. Cookie Monster, this game is for preschoolers. You know what else is for preschoolers? Easter, Easter Bunny's, Bunny's big day. <laughs> What? You know what Imagine. the Easter Bunny's big day is? Easter. Yeah, so Easter. That's, that's it. That this One day. Has, I think I've solved it. He's so happy. Easter Bunny has human legs. Don't tell me. One day, okay. A rabbit was Wait, he does? Oh. And thought to itself, ah, you know what? I don't have enough eggs. And then all of a sudden, a robotic egg jumped out of the rabbit's basket and said, oh, by the way, all you need to do to get more eggs is, is watch me walk around a badly compressed JPEG and complete mini games. And don't worry, if you can't solve any of these jigsaw puzzles, we won't give you a single chance to get it wrong because here's where all the pieces go. Oh, oh what's it'll that? show is you. Still too hard for you? Well, then how about you press a button to let us solve the entire thing? Time for penalty? You? Oh, cool. And I'll give you a time What's the point of this game, then? Looking at this, I don't have any Olympian five-star rings to tell celebrity chef levels of standards this needs to live up to, but I certainly expect it tells you more than just solving a million jigsaw puzzles and maybe playing two games of catch the egg or match the rabbit in the egg. Yes, rabbits lay eggs, apparently. There are other they disturbing don't. implications in this game, They really too. don't. Like, where is the Easter Bunny during all of the game? Is he inside Doing the robot Easter egg? Stuff? Was he liquidized and became the yolk? If the Easter Bunny's big day is Easter, which is only one day of the year, then why is he so unprepared and has no Easter eggs? Where does he do the rest of the year? eggs come from when I solve a jigsaw puzzle. And for the love of God, tell me, what the hell is a zero rap? The content of this uh -huh. game doesn't just end at jigsaws and a few catching or matching games San either. Francisco? If you want, you can go back to the main menu and replay the jigsaws in any order that you want. Yeah. You can look at the pictures of the jigsaw puzzles that you completed in the story mode. But cool. slightly bigger. If you don't want to do any of that, though, Remaining at the end time. of the story mode, which will take you about 16 minutes, you have to wind up the robot minutes. because it dies, and then your reward for finishing everything is to watch the robot walk very slowly all the way to the school to get up by egg sack to the good little boys and girls of Pissington Hill. You know what? Times at this point, I'd rather go back in time to 1605. Sure. Why? They didn't have any video games back then, but at least you could blow up Parliament. You want to know what the really is that? What happened in 1605? Is, I'm not done with baby games oh, on the PS1. Oh, no. There are tons left to I'm get. I'm sure there are. I'll save them for another time. Get excited, Please don't. Though, because for this video, I've been using my new hacked PS2 to record all of the footage you saw today. How? And this monster can play any PS1 or PS2 game from any. Why region, would you need which that? Which means I can play more USA exclusive games like Easter Bunny's Big Day. So get ready for Arthur mm. Ready to Race and My Disney Kitchen because mm. I can play them now. I also need to get a working Bob copy. Bob the Builder, because this one I have is wrecked and refused Ooh. to work. Bob the Builder, no, no, and can't like fix that. I remember like all the. I think it's about time. Put toothpaste on it. This video to bed. But before That's I go, I have a question valid. for you. Have you ever wondered why babies cry? Well, I'll tell you why. I... It's because they actually have vivid nightmares about their own future. And they can see their parents buying them these games. So oh, the next wow. time your baby cries. Just remember that you're not fit to be a parent. I think and they're better off being a dirty orphan. Some I was my uh. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter because you should already. Special my sister-in-law asked me today if I cared below. if they gave Zach's my Game Boy Brandon, Color to Exocast, my nephew. Tardis Type 40, so. Soulpunk, Ramen Wolf 1485, Red Eyed Critic, Stephen LeBlanc, Logan, my oldest Shear, nephew. Bart Rules, Matthew Heineman, Brandon Doggy. Williams, Daniel and Alex, The Game Shed, Skullman, Movie Mitchell, Your Face, Baseball, Look at Shadow, eyes. ZX, and A.D. Thornton Smith. Stan. Yeah. Do you really like it? Is it, is it wicked? I don't know what that's supposed to be uh, from, but this was the horrifying world of PS1 games for babies. It seems to do a lot of PlayStation stuff, which is good for me because it's all uncharted territory for me. I've never had a PlayStation, so 
I mean, I've used, I've held a DualShock like once for my friend. I'll like split screen Rocket League with him when I'm over at their house and stuff like that. And I'll just carry him even though it's, it's whatever. But yeah, PlayStation, he seems to do mostly PlayStation stuff. And I am completely just nothing when it comes to PlayStation. So God, this, that video has 7.2 million views, but it's 95 minutes long which is just crazy it's already 1 30 in the morning and i still have an hour and a half worth of videos left to record and i've already been recording for oh god have i been recording for four hours now oh god but i do hope you enjoyed this video i hope you're subscribed and if you enjoyed a like is always appreciated it's actually really important and uh, i look forward to the next kadikris video please let me know what that should be and uh, we're so close to 100 000 subscribers just crazy to think about patrons got all the videos there early couldn't do it without them but until the next video take care and key to music We were playing